Okay, so the deeper I get into this, the stupider it gets. There apparently is two ways to disable the uh, current EDP throttling limitation flag in Intel XDU and hardware monitor. There's two, yeah, not just one. So check it out. So you can do get off Intel default settings and go to the Asus OC profile, or you can do this, Asus multi-core enhancement and go to not, don't do auto let BIOS optimize. Don't do disabled enforce all limits. Don't do enabled remove all limits. Do enabled remove all limits 90C. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. So let me just do this real quick. Here's my Asus user profile, uh, load. So you can see everything I've got here from beginning to end. So Intel default settings, then I'll go to, see, this is my normal, enable remove all limits. I figure that just means remove all limits, right? Apparently, fuck not. Okay, so we do the enable remove all limits here, 90 degrees. Um, XMP1, extreme Intel, Intel default settings. Now, when I do, when I change it from Intel default settings to, to the other one, Asus Advanced OC Profile, it locks all my cores. Uh, to the same frequency. So they'll all be 60 or 61 or 59 or whatever the hell it is. Which kind of makes me a little crazy. I know everything probably uses multi-core, but I like to do 2 at 63, 2 at 62, 2 at 60, 2 at 59, you know, and, and it made it so I couldn't. Unless I'm crazy, which is possible, because I am. Uh, VRM, level four. Yeah, level four. Um, and I don't think any of this matters. I have current uh, CPU current capability at 140. I'm gonna go back to auto because I don't think it friggin' matters. My fat thermal controls at 125. Um, I'll worry about anything there. Let's see here. My SVID behavior is set to typical. Uh, I just did that right. Yeah. Okay. Now these are all back to auto. These are all back to auto. Everything's back here at auto. You know, my my uh, current limit max, I see C max, all that stuff is set to auto. I have no VF point offset, none of that stuff. Everything in Figures Paradise, this is just mostly from my memory overclocking. Um, you know, features in down, adaptive. I've got everything set to adaptive mode. Uh, my system SA stabilizing my my memory. Um, so let's see here. Now I will go to save it, changes, exit. So as you can see, I set everything back to auto here. Let me make sure that's stuck. Did that not stick? Why didn't it show it changing to yeah, enable remove all limits night? It's not what I had before. Why doesn't it show here? One more fucking thing for this BIOS. Ugh. Okay. I put these tiny three little 60 millimeter fans behind the GPU and now it's like a rocket ship taking off every time I start the computer. Okay. Let's see now. Let's see. Is that all it takes? Everything can be at auto, all those maximum power settings, all that shit that people in BIOS say, do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. I, I miss the good old days, man. Or you just go into BIOS and do like six settings. Next thing you know, you got yourself a freaking 40% overclock. Now, now it's you're navigating a series of bullshit. That, it, it's, it's excessive, it's overly complicated, and it's ridiculous. And and you wonder why Intel's ch fucking 12, 13, 14 gen chips are killing themselves. I mean, they're, they're like overcomplicating this shit at this point, I feel like. Um, okay, so let's see here. I am going to set my profile that I've got, which is pretty, pretty, oh, it's already on. A very aggressive profile. And this is 60. You gotta see my core count there. 63, 63, 63, 63, 61, 61, 60, 60 with uh, TVB. It's very aggressive. 1.5V, 0.04 volts offset, uh, 
47 on all the E cores. Hey man, I'm crazy. Don't, don't tell me, oh, I'm in a computer. Mind your own fucking business. I don't, I don't, I don't need you to tell me that. I know, I know, I get it. If I blow my money up, I blow my fucking money up. Get over it. Um, in settings, I, I also do this. I don't even know if it matters, to be honest. But, okay. So now we got Cinebench up. You can see down here the, what are you doing? Oh, I gotta close that. Let's get this shrunk a little so you can see it. The current EDP limit throttling down there. So, so let's, let's see. And over here, we've got the, the reasons for throttling over here. And here's the infamous IA electrical design point, other ICC Max PLS V. We have blah, blah, you know what the fuck it is. Uh, flag that always gets popped up. Let's see. No. It's not popping up now. So it's, I'm getting thermal throttled right now. So watch your temperatures. But it's one or the other. Those two settings get that flag to stop. And I have no idea why it would say force remove all 90C. That is, why, why can't that setting actually say something that lets us understand what it is that it's trying to tell us? Instead, they had to give it some kind of vague description. Um, I, I need to Google things more often, I guess. I don't know. I hope that helps. But you got two options, um, and that's it. That I found, please, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Again, I'm not a pro. I know just enough to get myself in trouble and start some shit and make people hate me. Whatever, I'm just trying to help. Um, have a good one.